Before you listen to this sound recording, you need to make sure that you have gone through all the slides of the lesson relating to deferred tax and VAT up to this slide. Before this slide, I explained the current tax implications as well as the VAT implication for a finance lease. And you need to understand that before you will be able to understand the deferred tax implications. Now, we're first going to look at the position where the lessor finances the VAT. We're going to have a balance in our statement of financial position, a net investment finance lease receivable. How was that amount calculated? It was calculated as the gross investment less my unearned finance income. Now, to understand or to identify how am I going to calculate my tax base, I have to ask myself, what will be taxable in future? As you know, for a finance lease, SARS will tax the installment that will consist of capital and interest, excluding VAT. Why excluding VAT? Because the lessor already has paid output VAT to SARS and therefore will not be taxed on the VAT included in the installment for current tax purposes. So, because the um, lessor will be taxed on the installment excluding VAT, the finance lease receivable that includes VAT will consist of two components. A component that has non-taxable economic benefits and a component that will have taxable economic benefits. The component that does not have taxable economic benefits will be the VAT included in that finance lease receivable and that relates to the VAT in respect of a future installment. Now, what do we know about the tax base for an asset that does not have taxable future economic benefits? That tax base will be equal to the carrying amount and therefore equal to 2,000 Rand. In respect of the component of the finance lease receivable that will have taxable future economic benefits, what will the tax base be? The future deduction against those future taxable benefits, which will be what? the future wear and tear allowances that the lessor will receive. If we look at a situation where the lessor does not finance the VAT, once again, you will start with a net investment to finance lease receivable that was calculated by taking the gross investment less my unearned finance income. Now, once again, you have to ask yourself what will be taxable in future? Now, in this instance, the installment does not include VAT because the lessor does not finance the VAT, so the entire installment received will be taxable. Therefore, that means that the entire finance lease receivable of 10,000 Rand represents taxable future economic benefits. So what does that mean? Your tax base will be equal to the amount deductible in future against that taxable benefit Therefore, your future wear and tear allowances. I'm going to put um, example E in um, a next sound clip so that we have enough space on the next sound clip. 